It's Warrior versus Hogan. Warrior of the clothesline. It comes back. Drill press. One, two, three. Warrior's the new champion. Oh, <laughs> hi there. I'm Peachy. I'm a full-time worker, but I'm also a casual reseller on the side. And today, we've got a bit of a gold to get to. So like I was saying, we've got a bit of a goal to get through today. But it's not really today, it's more a, just a challenge that's going to go on for a little bit and see if we can get there. Won't be really recording that. Everyone else has got their little challenges going. Buying a car, buying this, buying that, buying Playstations, going overseas, whatever you want to call it. So we're going to have our own challenge today. But let's just start by saying how awesome are the LJN figures. Like, look at this, absolute masterpiece. They just don't make them like they used to. 1989 LJN. Amazing. So myself and Carla have been doing a bit of renovation on the house. We want to make a challenge where I guess the thing we work to actually appreciates, not depreciates. And if you look at the value of property over the years, it's definitely only skyrocketed little dips in here, but then it flies back up, little dip, bang, straight back up. And now it's almost impossible to buy a house. We're lucky, we're privileged that we've got a house, we've got investment properties that we are very, very fortunate. Um, again, making smart decisions. That's why you should be watching this show, because we talk about profit. Um, but apart from that, we have basically done an extension to the house and obviously extensions, building, all that sort of stuff, costs money. And so that's kind of what we're going to be doing, trying to put the cost towards it. But the good thing is, is that Carla's dad is quite a handyman. And he's pretty much done all the building cost-free for us, which is a blessing and a huge thank you to him. But it still means we've still got to buy the building materials. And that's kind of what we're going to um, try and accumulate. So just a perspective, over the last two to three months, we've been starting a renovation, a new office. So adding an extra room, I guess, to the house, been going to Bunnings. Buying stuff like this plasterboard. Um, this will obviously be the walls to the office, but the outside structure is pretty much all ready. And we've just got the electrics, elect electrics done, and this is pretty much inside what it looks like at the current day, at the current time. Same bad time and all that sort of stuff. So it's getting there, but the plasterboard will go up in time, and obviously the insulation will go in there as well. And this will be our new office, or Carl's new office, where she'll work out of. I've kind of got the shed. And so, of course, that means we've got to go and find some stuff to buy. Um, hopefully, using the money ball, the money ball strategy I talk about, buying very low, buying good items, and hopefully making some very good profit on those items that are kind of proven to sell over the years. That's kind of the strategy we're going to be using. The Oakland A strategy is a good video. Watch it if you haven't. Uh, we might not get the views of this channel, but we do know what we're talking about with finances. Uh, we're not going to BS you on this channel. So we're going to head off to Savers. Let's go. And we are here at that beautiful place. I love this place. We enter the doors to the kingdom of gods. We go straight to the clothing. Yeah, we didn't pick up that. There was not, not a great deal you can see here kind of showing what I didn't pick up for the most part in these videos and obviously if you like looking at t-shirts um, there's probably other channels that show t-shirts and all that sort of stuff but you probably can watch Australia? no all kind of your bland stuff got a bit excited by this Chicago Bulls kind of like a floral type jersey but again it's from Thailand so you put it down um, this baseball team was called the Swallows um, interesting name there. I won't ask any more questions. We did pick up this. This was a Ooh Asa 2010 Premiership t shirt for $3. And this was even a bigger Ooh Asa. This Shaquille O'Neal Orlando Magic Spalding t shirt, t shirt, singlet, jersey. These things used to be all you pretty much could get in the NBA jerseys at one point, going back a little bit of time. Thought this was a bit of interesting Adidas old truck bodies basketball jersey didn't pick it up but it's just a bit of one of those interesting things you see and you wonder how did that become made 
It's actually good quality. But we put that one back. Um, did see this Reese Plumbing. I picked up a few Reese Plumbing shirts in the past that have all sold. So I thought I'd check out a Reese Plumbing beanie. Doesn't go that great. Could have made a bit of money. Did find this Grey Nichols cricket bat. It's called the Kaboom. Or Kaboom. Um, it's one of the bats David Warner was kind of using it about five, six years ago. I think it might have got banned by now. But we did pick that one up. And look, you can even take up the hobby of 10 pin bowling for $8. I guess the lane hire at the bowling place is the biggest expense. But if you want a bowling ball, $8. Uh, this is an Ish Coast, a nice design, kind of like a coat jacket type thing, made out of like wool, I think. Nice colours. Consider that the price was just a little bit too high for me, so I put that one back. And this is a North Face, like a big puffer jacket. But it was kind of like a business one. That's kind of what was, well as the price, if you put it back. Uh, but it was more like a business one. You can see the little logo and my fingers, my camera work, trying to hold a couple of items there. We put it back. It was North Face, but it was kind of a business one. Still would have probably gone okay. Did find this Battle Academy Pokemon, like a board game. Don't really do board games, so just don't want to deal with the puzzles. I don't want to deal with pieces, missing pieces, sending it off. Just doesn't fit into my money bog strategy. <laughs> um, so we put that one back. Someone else will have fun with that. They had these characters, don't know who they are, not a great deal of toys. They did have a couple of bags of, um, what do you call it, these things? Skylanders, Skylanders, I did pick up one, I didn't pick up that bag. There was two big, huge bags there, worth about $7 each, I think. Um, no, nothing about Skylanders. Haven't had much luck in the bag, or the ones I have picked up in the past. Until I do, I probably will be putting them back as well. And just some cheap toys that you said, everything in favours. Just Dawn Cooper. Hey, look who that is. Forest Finds <laughs> Online. What's he doing in my territory, eh? Cheeky devil. <laughs> I did find this marble game. Didn't get it. Again, postage doesn't fit into my strategy, but pretty awesome thing. Like the box art was pretty cool. Had this Logitech, like a PC type game. Do do do, kind of joystick thing. 15 bucks, so uh, I don't really want to deal with it. Not enough profit in that for me. We walked around the shop to see what we could find. We'll had a bit of the VHS type um, things, which I like to have a bit of a look at all the time. These are books, actually, my bad. They had this Tiger's book. I don't really do books. I do pick them up. I just have a bit of a read of them, a look at them. This was a bit of an interesting one, the Richmond Tigers, Tigers of Old, like an anniversary type book. Pretty cool. And we did put it back. I don't really deal with books. They also had these Days of Our Lives. So are the Days of Our Lives. That's a complete album or something there. I'm sure there's a person out there but really, really want the Days of Our Lives book, album, whatever it's called. I don't do books, so we put that back. <laughs> and there's me trying to act like I know like something about books. I don't. We went to the VHS, and that's a pretty cool find there, Hellraiser. We picked that one up, but not much else. Those Lion Kings, I don't know why people say they go for $5,000. They don't, but they didn't go for a couple of bucks. Overproduced. And they also had Crocodile Dundee. Did think about getting that one, but we didn't. We put that back. Especially, I did like the movie. It's not me, he's buying it. And video games, they had this kinetic thing and they had about 12 all sealed copies. I don't know why it's there. I don't know why there's like 12 copies. I don't know what it is, but look at that. All those are sealed. Well, why are you doing one at a time? Just get them all out. Just get them all out. There you go. All sealed, I don't know why. I'll probably know why it's not a great game or great thing. We did pick up this awesome PS2 game. And there's Forrest. He's trying to hunt down some bargains. He's struggling a bit, I think. He's got that bag full, though. But the strawberry shortcake life is delicious. This was in the woman's... I was just walking by and I saw that. Don't have the confidence yet to go into the woman's section. And also had this Pokemon mug. I think that's Charizard and... Pikachu. Quote, don't quote me on that. I know nothing about Pokemon. I know that's Pikachu. I don't know who the green guy is. Again, 
three bucks it was, so it was pretty cheap, but again, not enough profit for me to really, something you'd probably sell at the market, the Facebook marketplace maybe, we put that back, and someone else could enjoy their Pokemon mug, that is Bundaberg rum, um, it was like a ceramic type glass thing, pretty cool, but again, I don't really deal with this sort of stuff, I don't want to deal with that stuff, put it back, this thing was pretty cool. It was like, I think there's been just something that's missing in there. It's like these devil's type hands or something. Pretty cool little um, structure type thing. That's our right, savers. All transparency here. This is pretty much what we've got in about three days of thrifting, Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday. Um, and it's just from one shop. Just one store. We're not traveling to 25 shops in a day. We're doing money ball. We're doing the strategy that works. Simple, to the point, great store, get your stuff, go buy, sell it, whatever. That's what we're doing. That's the money ball principles. And I'll show you what I picked up. So full transparency, this is about three days worth. I am on holidays at the moment. So it allows me to get down to savers two to three times a day, which is awesome. And this week we'll start with the media. The media, we did pick up a little bit this week, which we sometimes do. But we don't normally pick up DVDs this week, we did. Um, don't really know much about this, but I think it's got a bit of a following. It's Goosebumps. We've got season four. Season four. Uh, we've got Goosebumps, The Most Wanted. The Most Wanted. So these are all $2 each. And I'll probably just bundle these up. And we've got Goosebumps, The Best of the Ewan Episodes. So I'm sure that is up there with 80s Horror. I'm sure that's going to compete with Freddy Krueger. And then on to the video games. Um, picked up a few this week, didn't actually have much going out. Um, got this Activision anthology, I didn't comp these at all when I picked them up. Just picked them up because I thought they would be different. Don't think it comps all that great, but for two bucks, it's a bundler. Uh, got Alias, haven't actually seen it at the thrift shop before, but I go to. Again, two dollars, so we're happy to pick it up. And again, probably in a bundle. Now uh, the next one, this is where we get into some good stuff. I love finding rare video games in the thrift. I do, I do, I do. And the first one we found, again, for $2 was this Metal Gear Solid 3. Whoa. And that goes for quite a bit. So again, good to get the, um, and it's also got the instruction or the manual, it's got the game, it's in good condition, which is even a bigger bonus. And the last game we picked up was a PS4 game. And that's kind of like the Bratz one of these, a rainbow high. Um, happy to pick up most PS4, unless it's FIFA, NBA 2K, all that stuff, it's always all we'll give a bit of a look. And that's the media that we picked up for this week. Letterman-esque people, you probably don't know Letterman. The next thing we did pick up, um, we did pick up one of these last week, and it's a couple of cricket bats. We picked up this grey Nichols bat, the Super Drive, Super Drive scoop. It's got this old scoop there. Not sure why it's white on the front, Mac brown on the back. Uh, it's got the old Grey Nichols traditional scoop there which is pretty cool and we also picked up this Grey Nichols it's like the David Warner Kaboom bat. So it's one of those bats, I'm not even sure if it's still legal um, but apparently it's a lot lighter, a bit of a smaller bat and it was used in like more than the 2020s to basically smash um, the fast bowls for six. I'm not even sure it's a legal bat but again Things that are legal not being allowed to be used anymore can add value to it. And that's why we picked up both these bats to go with the Kookaburra Supreme. But we haven't listed it, so this might just be a Facebook Marketplace bundle. Not sure how much, but I'm happy um, if it sells for over $15, because that's what I paid for this. All right, onto the toys. And obviously toys these days just don't, they just don't compare with this, this sort of stuff from the 80s, 90s, this crap. We picked up some Skylanders, I don't know, they're pretty crap, to be honest with you. I don't understand, got this guy, probably all worth nothing, which is okay. Got this little guy, there's a whole heap in there. They weren't too expensive, about six, seven bucks. This one in total for a bag. This guy, I don't know if these are worth anything, probably not would have probably not been there had I um this guy's a big guy I'm not sure if bigger he's better um 
this bloke, I'm not sure what his deal is. It's like a Mario type character, actually. Uh, what else did we get? We got this guy. This guy. We got a couple more. This thing, like a little golem type thing. And we also got this. I think he's missing a body or he put, gets put on something. He's like a pirate guy. That's our toys of the week. Pretty much Skylanders. <laughs> really? They don't compare with the LJ and Steve, eh? All right, our next category, and it's actually, I think last month it was actually my biggest selling category, which is a bit odd because I don't spend too much on this category, um, but I do buy low, sell high, money bowl. Um, and the first one we picked up was this Alan Moffat Ford GT um, T-shirt. The T-shirts go really well for me, especially when I pick them up low, cheap. Um, that's Alan, Alan, Alan Moffat, um, if you know, V8 Supercars is one of those sort of like drivers in the a long time ago. I think he's retired. We've got this Wrangler t shirt. Ducking on the back, just a Wrangler print, which is quite okay for three bucks. Three bucks. <laughs> We've got this Rocky Adrian, will you marry me t shirt? No, it's not, it's just a mugshot. I picked this one up in Thailand about a year and a half ago and it sold. Um, I picked up another one of Rambo recently as well on my recent trip to Thailand, check out the video, um, and that actually sold quite quickly, so hopefully there's a bit of demand for Rambo at the moment. Um, next one, this one pains me a bit, um, it's a Collingwood Magpies 2010 Premiership t-shirt, and of course that's the one where they had to draw, where the ball bounced, Milne went the wrong way, or the ball went the wrong way, missed it, and also draw, then the rematch, Collingwood kind of destroyed them, and it's kind of got the team list for that Premiership list not the actual game the list i think it is uh, we picked up this mambo t-shirt which says give pizza a chance give pizza a chance maybe we should uh we picked up this don't know about this one it was cheap pretty cool print supernaturals I'm not sure that still goes all right but it was more the double print on the back it's kind of says end of the road tour and it is a big T-shirt, it's that 4XL. Oh, gee, it almost fits me. Probably need to lose a couple of pounds. And we picked up this um, DC Originals T-shirt. This one's also pretty big as well. Aquaman, jerseys, DC Originals T-shirt. So that's all our T-shirts. And again, we've got a very low buy-in on all these T-shirts. So if they sell for 20, we're still making some decent profit on them. Did pick out a couple of little items, bit of media. We did pick up this VHS Hellraiser T-shirt, um, Hellraiser D, Hellraiser VHS tape, one dollar. Um, I think the clamshell this actually goes for some really really good money. This normal tape here, not so much, but still kind of will hopefully sell. Um, we picked up also. This was me being a little bit naive, a little bit innocent naive innocent peachy um at work thought this was a um m m's t-shirt and so i just picked it up thinking you know it's cheap but if you actually you read a little bit closer m d m a and look at those little smarties on there they're they're surrounded by not m m's they're surrounded by some candy so that's on me, that's innocent, but that might be a Depop type t-shirt, still pretty cool. It might be a silly accident that works out okay. Yeah, you would have seen in the video this find. I don't like showing this because if savers see this, they go, oh, we've got to price these up. They look so tacky and cheap, the old NBA jerseys, but this is vintage, this is about 92. Orlando Magic, and that's like almost from Shaquille O'Neal's rookie season. So you work out 92 to 2005, it's what, 33 years old. So it's a vintage NBA jersey, and we paid like three, four bucks for this. And these things sell, I saw a Larry Johnson one last week. Might price that one up a little bit more than Larry Johnson. Um, what else did we pick up? This Hawthorne Hawks, new with, new with tags. Only reason we picked up, it's got new with tags on the Puma tag. Um, I think you Hawthorne jacket, pretty cool. Um, Hawthorne with me. Don't, doesn't sell that great, but then I had moments where in a week or two week period, I might sell two or three items, just bang, bang, bang. Then it might just sit for a while. So that one being with tags might be a bit different, a bit, a bit more retro, I guess, with the Puma tags. 
maybe. Again, you would tag to pick up this Giants jersey. It is only a youth jersey, but it's new with tags, which is pretty cool. Um, it's a youth medium, I think. Um, it doesn't fit me. <laughs> Couldn't get my buff head over that. Um, new with tags. Um, definitely kids jersey, which is okay. I've got this Brisbane Lions. Um, it's a Brisbane Lions 20th season rugby league jersey. Brisbane Lion, Brisbane Lion, Brisbane Broncos, um, Nike. Um, I guess that being 20 years old or the 20th season, I'm assuming that makes it 2004. It's got 2004 on the tag. So that's pretty much a vintage Brisbane Broncos rugby league jersey. Uh, we picked up this long sleeve. I thought it was a plain shirt when I first got it, but I think it's just a shirt, long sleeve soccer shirt for the Melbourne, hmm, Melbourne City team. <laughs> I don't know what they're called. Melbourne City. No, just they're almost like the Manchester City colours. I think they're kind of got an affiliation with them anyway. We picked up this NHL Mighty Ducks jersey. It's not official, I don't think. It's not official, uh, but it's still a pretty awesome looking jersey. It's got all the cool. Um, got Paul Cryer. So he was the, obviously the captain because it's got the C. But Paul Cryer played for the Anaheim Mighty Ducks. And obviously with the movie, this team just has a bit of a um, novelty value as well. Um, so again, didn't put too much money into that. It is a, it is not an official jersey, which um, I'll, I won't list it as being Adidas, Nike, CCM, or whoever make the rugby, whoever make the um, ice, yeah, ice hockey jerseys these days. Uh, pick up this Toronto Raptors jacket. Um, it is pretty big, I think it's a 4XL as well. I don't go for the Raptors. Wouldn't probably be too big for me anyway. It's got the Raptors paw, claw, whatever you want to call it there. It's just a pretty basic jacket on the back. It's got Toronto Raptors. Nothing too special about it, but hopefully a Raptors fan sees that and they got to have it. I've got a vest, uh, VB, so Victoria Bitter Racing. Kind of a bit of a oxymoron there, Victoria Bitter. You probably don't want me doing one and doing the other. Um, so I've got the VB logo there. It's got the V8 Supercar logo on the side. So it's a nice little vest. On the back, it's got a pretty cool design as well with the VB Racing. Um, so I'm assuming that will go quite well, especially with the um, V8 Supercar season going along at the moment. Uh, we've got these Boston Celtics shorts in size large. I don't really pick up shorts, but I'll be honest with you, shorts actually have got okay for me. The shorts I have picked up have all pretty much sold, I think, which is good. Uh, we picked up this Adidas Jimmy Butler Chicago Jimmy Buckets. Jimmy Buckets Chicago Bulls jersey. Um, it's got this like a really funny texture, like almost like a plastic style. I'm not sure you can see on the camera. Doesn't matter. Um, pretty legit jersey. Um, this one's a Phoenix Suns, like a training jersey. Looks fairly old. It's got the old Suns, that old cool logo there back in the at the right way. Yeah, it just looks weird. Um, nothing too special about that. Phoenix fan might want it. Next thing we got was this Ridge Line. I don't know if this is it's like a shirt. Um, when I first saw it, I picked it up and think it was a jacket, but I think it's just Ridge Line. I think this is a decent brand. Haven't bought it before, so it's a bit of a bit of a guinea pig for me. Long sleeve shirt, ridge line, kind of like a hunting outdoors type brand. Uh, this is legit, legit um, Reebok Chicago Blackhawks jersey. It's a size small, but geez, this thing would probably fit me. It's a small, but I think the hockey jerseys allow for all the equipment underneath, so a small is really probably a large. Medium would be an extra large, where they allow the sizing for the padding and all that. And this is a Patrick Kane. Um, jersey, so pretty cool. Blackhawks, um, fairly big following, decent following. Uh, next thing was another Melbourne City. I think this is actually a jersey. I hope it's a jersey because I've got it listed as a jersey. Uh, again, new with tags. Puma, Melbourne City. I'm pretty sure that's the actual, the actual jersey they're playing. I don't watch A League. Um, doesn't interest me. And the last thing we picked up. Um, an autographed jersey, but again, how do you prove that? Um, do you list it as an autographed jersey or are you just list it as is? Um, it is a 
Golden State Warriors. I think he's like about a, looks like a size small. I think it's it hasn't even got a mark. It's not a legit jersey. But the main reason I got it was, you might be able to see that. It is a Bogut jersey. And of course, that is signed by pretty much Australia's most successful basketball player. Some people probably um, argue otherwise. But Bogut definitely was number one draft pick. So it was Ben Simmons, but come on, Ben Simmons. Um, $50 million to basically fake injuries. Anyway, that's what I picked up this week. Again, didn't go Monday, didn't go on the weekends because Mondays was um, Easter Monday and I don't go, um, I don't know, putting stuff out on a Monday when it's a oh, public holiday. And so it's only Tuesday, Wednesday and Thursday. So this is all of my finds over three days in one shop. Moneyball. See you later.